One way to think of a mathematical function is as a calculation box. We put a number into the box, something happens inside the box to compute the answer, which is the output. The standard practice for mathematical functions is that x is a typical input to a function and y is the typical output. The function may be named by a letter or abbreviation. We often associate the function name, like f, with the equation y equals f of x. Here is an example. Perhaps f is the function that adds 3. f takes any input and adds 3 to produce the output. Here is another function called g which squares the input. If we put in 4, we get the answer 16. If we put in negative 4, we also get the answer 16. It is okay for different inputs to give the same output. We require our function boxes to be consistent. If the input 2 produces the output negative 5, we shouldn't have to worry that the next time we put in 2, we get a different answer. For each input, there should be only one output. Each button on your calculator activates a function box. There is a function called cosine, abbreviated COS. When the value of 0 is the input of the cosine function, the output is 1. There is a function called the base 10 logarithm that gives as its output the exponent on 10. For example, if the number 1000 goes into the log box, the output is 3.